Looking at the truth, the money never lie, no I'm the one, yeah I'm the one early morning in the dawn Know you wanna ride now Let's ride. I'm the one, yeah. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam and this is my YouTube channel. So today I will be doing the get to know me tag. The first question is, what is your name? My name is Miriam Adesalasalam. What does your name mean? Uh, Miriam is the mother of Prophet Isa of Islam. I think it's Mary in, Christ in Christianity and it's the mother of Jesus. And Adesala means uh, a child born into wealth. And my surname Salam is peace. Where, uh, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. I'm from Kogi State, from the Ebira part of Kogi State, from Okene Town actually. Uh, where do you live? I currently live in uh, the UK, in England. And I used to live in France and I moved here, so I can like shuffle between the two. What is your favorite color? Um, I'll say my favorite color is white, white and black actually. I just think it's very easy to walk around and just simple. I love the simplicity part of white. What is your star sign? I'm a Pisces. What is your favorite music at the moment? I am loving Corridor Bello Butterfly. My butterfly, don't fly away, butterfly. Where you the go, butterfly? Would you be my butterfly? Hey, she see butterfly, I just butter, butterfly. I love it. Who is your favorite artist at the moment? Um, I don't really have a favorite one. I just, uh, I like my all-time favorite artists are Asha. Nice, uh, Brandy, Kesha Cole, and I love whiskey as well. He's a Nigerian artist. Favorite food, noodles. <laughs> like, it's just easy and quick to make, especially when you're hungry and you need to make something. But if I've got more time, I would say jello fries or fried rice. Like, I can eat actually fried rice, I can eat fried rice like every day, every single day. Favorite drink. Um, cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice. Yeah. Favorite snack. I don't really snack, but I would say Kinder. I don't know. That's, yeah, Kinder. I don't really snack like that. I most times snack on fruits. I'm not trying to be healthy or something, but yeah, I don't snack a lot. Favorite holiday. I would say about last year or. Yeah, is it last year? Yeah, last year I went to Portugal with my friend and it was really nice. Like that's the first time I'm going on holiday with my friends. I'm not going with my family or somebody or my sister or anything. Yeah, it was good. It was just good to like go out with friends and just have fun. It was really, really nice. What is something you are talented at? Um I don't I can't really say for sure, but I like blogging and I think I'm doing quite well and I don't know if that's considered Italian but that's what I like doing. What is something you wish you were talented at singing? Like I can sing to save my life. Um yeah, I can't I can't sing at all. Like I don't even think I'm good singing for myself in my bathroom or in my room. I can't sing and I don't attempt to. Um, describe yourself in a single sentence. I would say, hmm, I would say I'm um, fearless uh, because I am the type of person that if I want to do something, I'll just do it. Like, I'd, obviously, I'll do like thorough thinking and like see my chances and see the risk involved and everything. But then, if I really want to do something I think is right, I will just do it. What are your favorite things about yourself? Um, what are my favorite things about myself? Like I'm thinking about myself now. Um, one, like I said, I like the fact that I'm fearless and I can do anything I want to do and without really trying to stay in my comfort zone or something and what other thing what is on top of your bucket list I've got three things there's one short term is to go skydiving like 
I don't really like ice so much so I think yeah I think we'll be good to go that's if I don't faint or die before I get to the ground what is your biggest accomplishment for now I would say my graduation last year I really felt so accomplished on my graduation day I was one of the happiest people in the world like I know it's some for, for some people it's oh it's just a graduation like oh after three years everybody's gonna graduate like it's normal but for me that was a big deal for me to like get to that point that was a big deal for me what is an ideal first date for you I would say a drink and just go to a quiet lounge, just chit chat, just talk and try to get to know each other more. Nothing serious, nothing too fancy. Yeah, just go have a drink. And uh, do you have a best friend? I don't have a best friend because that is cute and everything. Like, trust me, having a best friend is nice. Like, you can always have that person you, you call on to and just do anything you want to do and they're always there. But I just think it's so cliche, especially I, I don't know, personally I don't do best friends but I've got close friends that I know I can always count on but I wouldn't say anybody's my best friend What app do you use most on your phone? I use Instagram like I use Instagram a lot I'm always on Instagram for every time, every single day, every single minute I'm always on Instagram but in terms of using, not like apps that I visit like I use Perfect 365 guys, that app for editing is that bomb.com like that app is so freaking nice mm, what countries have you visited? I visited I'm from Nigeria, yeah, I visited Nigeria, um, France, I grew up in France, and I've been to Luxembourg, I've been to Belgium, I've been to Ireland, Benin um, Republic when I was young, but I was in primary school then, it was back in Nigeria and it was a school trip. That school trip is another story for another time. Like a school trip to Benin Republic, that is completely another story. Best memory you have, I would say two years ago when I went to Nigeria with my old family. My brother was getting married and we all had to travel back to Nigeria and it was mad fun. Because that's the first time we have any family trip and everybody is at the same place at the same time. So it was really fun. One thing you know now that you wish you had known as a kid like no situation is permanent especially bad situations especially bad times like these bad times are not gonna last forever they will always come and go and you like literally you overcome everything like everything the last question is what is your biggest goal I think my biggest goal for now is to have my own established and structured company and I just work for myself and I'm thinking that I have like an impact for the society. I just don't want to work and be selfish and just do everything for myself. It'd be good to like put something out there and use whatever I do to impact and change people's life. Yeah, so that is the end of my get to know me tag. I hope you you've learned a few things you didn't know about me before if you have any questions put it down below and probably later in the future i'll compile other questions together and do another get to know me tag so that's it for now don't forget to subscribe like this video if you enjoyed it and follow me on instagram at it's miriam salam and also check out my blog guys at www.fashionbydaisy.com i had a new post on that went live yesterday and it was a collaboration with another blogger Demi. so don't forget to check it out and share the video share with your friends and share with your family your auntie your sister your brother everyone okay that's the end of my video i'll see you in the next one bye guys hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is best friend because yes best friend she don't do best friend but she does
fait belle parole Je ne vis que l'enjaillement Je ne vis que l'enjaillement 